and that's when them come see me lead on in a pool of blood. Well, the day of the incident when, when I got shot, well, I wake up normal just like every other given day, you know, and going around doing my little chores at home and them thing there, and you know, evening, in the day passes and evening come. But where I got shot is not my community where I live because I used to work in a little cook shop and there was this youth where him live nearby and in time we no got me no got work or me had a little friend we go to a theme yard where you sit down and talk, you know. On roadside just like teenagers do regular thing, you know, run up and down and talk and have fun but somehow me no know on that December evening, the 10th of December. That's when my whole life take a change for the worse. Yes, because like I said before, when we were there laughing and talking and just having carefree laughter and having fun, about 10 to 15 minutes after that, a whole lot of shots start to fire I come from up at the top of the lane and everybody on the road start to scatter, run up and down in all directions. So because I know there so me come from now and I had a little friend me turn to leave and I run go back down the road. And to be honest, before reality could have kicked in, I find myself on the ground. And I try to move and I can't move. Everybody run gone and me lay down on the, the, the ground. But I never lose consciousness. So the youth when I fire the shot, then come look for me and come and say, somebody get shot. I want straight lane. I may try to move and I know so they come and stand up and look for me. And after that then turn and go. So after everything cool down now and thing, persons start, start to come back out on the road and that's when they come see me lay down in a pool of blood. And then they step me up and carry me go down on the main road and then stop a vehicle. I think it was a private vehicle, not a taxi. And then put me in and carry me to KPH. <laughs>